Hello guys, this is Death Dealer. Welcome back to another episode on the Vulture SP server. This is episode 14, and today you're in for a treat. Today we finally go and take on the Ocean Temple along with Harper Boy and MC418. You'll see some clips from that later on. But before we do that, I'd like to show you what I've been doing. So, earlier on today, before I'd done that, because I've already done, well, we've already recorded the raid, and this is after it. Earlier on today, about this morning, I would done an hour mining session and just see the stuff we got from later on, just the iron because that was a big thing and we got a lot of redstone and I made a lot. So we're going to be doing a lot of those in the future and I just finished making this. Now I started work on it after the last episode and I was doing a lot of work on it this morning, that's why I had to go and do the mining session because I needed resources for this. But this is a an elevator, a redstone elevator, that uses the piston translocation bug. Now basically what that means is, say, look, do we have any pistons? I have to explain this. Now, if a piston, as you can see, you get a piston and you place it down, and if there's no block behind you and you power it, turn it off, nothing will happen. But if there's a block behind you and you do that, piston head will go right through you and then you'll be pulled through to the other side. So yeah, it takes advantage of that. You see there's a slime ball, slime ball, <laughs> slime block there because we have a mechanism that's also an elevator where you can pull the pistons in and they'll f then you can fall through. So let's test this out. This has been specially designed to work on multiplayer servers. Uh, I I haven't tested it enough to see if it's 100, if it has a 100% success rate, but every time I've done it, since I've got it completely working, it seems to have worked. So, oh and I've still got those problems with the window crash thing. Yeah, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. It's, it's a weird thing, but well, what could you do? Anyway, let's test this out. So this is a button, you press it and you see we get pulled up. Right, through everything and there we have it we're in as you can see I've designed a little area here it's not the best looking thing but you know I was going to make the refinement area through here but instead we're going to do it through here and the only problem with this design as you can see this is sticking out the floor but it's nothing I can do I could have put half slabs or something around but I think that would overdo the design a bit but yeah, and if you want to go back down, you step in this and you look through there. This, the, which called the, <laughs> the stone button had to be there. I could have put it in this wall and done a lot more redstone, but I didn't think of it at the time. And I think this looks okay because we can put glass or kind of glowstone in there or something. I don't know, but we've got plenty of light and, well, press lock button, hold space and then shift once you've bounced and then that stops you going through this piston and it's a safe enough jump. So if you want to see how this thing works and if you want to see a tutorial make sure to hit that like button and put your thoughts in the comment section because that will tell me if you want to see a tutorial. And well before we go on to the Ocean Temple Raid clips I would like to talk about our farming little setup we've got here. So we've got the mob farm up top and we've got the slime farm down there. Now since I've been working on that a lot, the slime farm has been on, I've already crafted up a bunch of slime balls and slime blocks and there was AFK up there for about maybe two hours and we've got some stuff. So let's have a quick look at our chests. Bear in mind I have took some stuff over to the shop. So. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff. I haven't stocked up the string in the shop yet, I don't think. And that's a random loot. One chance in that bowl. Hmm. And I suppose we can go and quickly check out the slime chunk farm. And as you can see, mobs have fallen because of the rates have slightly increased since we've done a bit of cave lighting. The Ocean Temple clips will be a little bit jumpy because at the beginning 
well, once we actually vo- actually ventured off, because we, I recorded this for quite a bit before we even started, because we were away getting stuff for potions, because none of us had any, and I, well, I had, I had originally planned to do it with golden apples, and we have them up in a chest, but, yeah. Oh, wow. Right. That is a lot. That's a lot since I last checked. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> Soon enough we'll be able to sell these in our shop. Okay, um Right, I need to empty my inventory. I suppose we could just put a few things in there for now. And we'll take the slime box balls. Damn it. I am really struggling for words. As you can probably tell I still have a cold that isn't as bad, but that's why I don't talk as much in these clips. Because, well, it's hard enough for some people to understand me as it is because, well, the Scottish. Because I'm Scottish, of course. But, yes, so I need to talk kind of slow, and since I've got the cold, it doesn't really help. I hope you can understand. Right, oh, that is actually quite a lot of slime bo- blocks. Yeah, we are definitely going to be selling those. Great. Okay, right, let's quickly pick up this. Now, I haven't even looked over the footage for the the raid yet. Modulation Temple Raid. Raid! I'm saying raid as if it's something from factions. No, not at all. Yeah, I haven't looked over the footage. I don't even know how long it is. I cleared out some of the space in my hard drive where I store all my videos. Because, well, I stored, I stored videos on it, yeah. I stored the raw clips, the rendered clips, all well, the rendered videos, and then the compressed videos because I compress my videos before I upload. That's why at the beginning it takes a long time for it to get into HD because of something to do with the codec or something. I don't know. But yeah, I cleared out a lot. I kept my compressed copies of the videos because I do that just so we had enough space, I think I recorded for an hour or something, but the, the Ocean Temple raid itself only took about 15 minutes. Bear in mind, I had to re-log because my internet does something funny sometimes, well it's not my internet, it's my ethernet cable. Whenever someone walks by my router I get disconnected or it's like a kind of slow disconnect from the server or internet. Basically what happened was, we just got to the the temple. I think I will show you this clip. And well, I I didn't get out. It kicked me out with the boat, and I was like, "Oh, that must be weird." Well, well, I was like, "Well, that's weird. I must have been chilled or something." The boat was still there, so I continued on, and I tried hitting the which call the guardians. I couldn't do it, so I said to the guys, "I was like, well, I found a bug. Um, they aren't aiming at me, and they aren't hitting me. I think they held it." I could hear them, so that makes me think I could. They could hear me, and then they were like, "Well, oh, there's a main fatigue." And I was like, "Well, I haven't got it yet," and I'm. I was the first in, and that's when it's got. Oh my connection to the server. That's why. So I logged out, logged back in, and it. So what happens? I was still in my boat. Anyway, instead of talking about it, I think I'm going to show you the clips, and well, I hope you enjoy. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Vulture SMV Ocean Monument fight, where we're going to be taking on that monument over there. We've got some stuff ready, we've got five potions in total, but we've got two of one of them. Um, we've got a potion of strength, a potion of regeneration, a potion of night vision, which we've got two of, a potion of water breathing, and a potion of swiftness, three golden apples, four buckets of milk, and a boat to get over there, along with seven ladders, just in case, and I've got a bunch of torches as well help breathe. So I think we're all ready and we'll go head off in boats over to there and we'll see how this goes because I've actually never taken any one, one of these ever. I haven't either. This is my first. Are you all coming? Right. This is going to be interesting definitely. Yeah. See what it's like when we get over there. I already see some guardians. around them. I don't have mining fatigue yet, so I'll try it. Is though I can open him through the top, I can jump in. I 
can't. I, th I think there is, and there's one in the bottom. Right, I'm just wondering if we want to jump out of the boats now and head. Oh, there we go, man. If we can ride for it. That's an opening, right? Through that top there. It looks like one. Can you tell? Right. I'm down in the bottom, I'm already the inside. Oh, you're inside? Yeah. I'll jump in then. No point. Oh, there's no opening. Right, okay. Uh, might just drink the milk and hop in. Oh, I found the Elder Guardian. No! Don't touch me. Right, I'm at, oh, I'm at the Elder Guardian. I'm right in the middle of it. Oh my days. Oh my days. Try and get around here. Right, I'm, I've dug a hole through. I'm into another area. Do oh, I can see up there? Get some night vision going. They haven't shot me once yet. Strange. I've got night vision. Um, I'll get some swiftness so I can move about faster. Then we'll go ahead to clear them out. Regen and strength, okay. Uh, I Are you all going to get inside this top bit here? There's an Elder Guardian up here, in the main section. Okay. Oh, I see Miner. Right. If you just come over here and start hitting him, Miner. He have fawns when the spikes are out, I believe, but... If we hit him now, and the spikes are in, we get the fawns otherwise. Oh, there we go. We get a sponge and a shard. Right, that's one Elder dead. You need torches? Yep. Yeah. Once again, my sensitivity is mucking about. Wow, that's why I couldn't hit them. <sighs> if you're moving closer, then their spikes are trapped, and that's why you need to hit them. There's the mining fatigue. No, 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 no. Don't kill oh, me. Oh, this is that gold room, right? Here. Yeah. Oh, I see you, Def 2, I know. Right, um... We need to get the elders, don't we? Yeah, right. Where was it? Honestly, I've got no idea where the elders are. Right, so that's the front entrance. There's a few rooms then, isn't there? Yes. Should be another bit that pops back up, like one that we came down. Here. Maybe this is it. I'm close to another one. I'll come to you. Right. How do you guys are there? Yep. Hey, follow me. Just round here. Yeah. Oh, okay. That is a fight. No. Is this the elder? Oh, he's round. The elder's here. right here. Just 
Just try and not get too close to each other when you're fighting. There we go, killed. One elder, two elders down. And nice. One left. Oh, that's there's a middle one. room around here. Thought there'd be a room in. Isn't this where there's like a room in the middle and then you'll find the other one here? I think so, yeah. Have you just gone that way and it's not there? Um. Not there. So surprised I've survived this one. So am I. Pretty easy to be honest. Then. Going around. Ooh. Do you know where you was running, but then you came back from? Oh right, I can see you on the other side of the wall. Yeah. Got him. That's all three out. Wow, you killed all three of them. Did I? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I, I found the sponge room. Oh, that's good. We just place a torch. We'll, we'll go there and get the sponge. Because now we won't have mining to see, will we? Okay, I'm getting hit today. You just go out of me. Um, hold on, I'll tell you. Right, where are we? Um, I'm heading back to where you were. Sorry about that, I kind of ran off and fought one on my own then. That's okay. I guess right. these wouldn't be too hard for me to actually tackle on my own. No. So I'll go and tackle that other one at some point. I mean, we only need one farm, but still a spare one that could get tackled. Quite close to it, actually. How many <laughs> sponge rooms are there for each, each temple? Do you know? I think there's just one big one. I might be wrong on that. It could be two, actually. This is the gold room, right? Behind here there's gold. Yeah, there will be. I think it's... I'm not sure how many blocks of gold there is, but... Okay, I have 24 sponges. No, make that 26. Don't run away, run away. That's the, so that's the gold room. I don't know where the sponge room is though, where you are. Where about to you? Right, hold on. I, I cleared it out, but... Right, where were you? No, don't take me. No. There you are. Did you get all the sponges? Yeah. Right. We could perhaps use some to dry out bits. Right. Ah, it's probably not much point. Well, they're wet, so we need to put them in the furnace first. By now I can drink the milk, because all my enchantments have run out anyway. Although I'm now getting targeted, so that shows that that was making a big difference. What I might do is... Yeah, now I'm getting... Targeted a fair bit, so that swiftness was definitely helping. Here's some gold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks of gold. Wow. Got it. We'll probably recuperate when we get back out. This is good. Glad that we did this. Anything? That way, I, I wanted the um, winning hits on all three guardians, <laughs> elder guardians. Now we need to get back 
Okay, that was yeah, and now I have completely lost. All right, there's a the entrance. There's another sponge room. Where I need to get I'm not sure. I was under the impression that there was two. Possibly is. I mean, we could come back at another time. Uh, I'm getting killed, so I'm just gonna head for the exit. Yeah. If I can see the exit here. Right, I'm out. Swimming up. Oh, there you are. There's my bow, so I'll pop in and get drunk. Oh, it's night time. Well, I don't know which one was my bow, but I popped in one of them. Probably wasn't that section one that time. I think mine was an elf one. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> um, mine are you heading out, or...? I think he's EFK. He encased himself in sand. <laughs> well, I think that was pretty successful. No, it was. That was great. Uh, there's another temple around here, though. I want to see where it is. Pretty close. Uh, not that I'm going to tackle it now, but it'd be interesting to see where it is. Yeah, I can see it from here. It's just here. So there's another one just there. You can catch a glimpse of approaching now. I'll, I'll turn back. I'm not going to go that far. So we killed all three Elder Guardians and got three sponges. How many sponges did you get from the sponge room? 26. 26? Yeah. Oh wow. Probably split everything between us or something for now. Um, I'll just borrow it when we need it. Kind of thing. Just sponges last forever kind of. I should dry them out. Dry them out? Yeah. I suppose over the next few days, when you're away, I'll probably do some work around here to get this place kind of operational as a farm. And both. Oh, that'll be great. And then I'll come back and help as well. Yeah. I'll, back. Cause I've been yeah I'll, I'll be gone for two weeks, so you'll have plenty of time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, made it back. Let's destroy the boat. And that. Uh, oh, I didn't lose it. I'm not going to lose it. There we go. Who made the birch boat? Does anyone want it back? I made it. It doesn't matter. The birch one. Right. That was good and my armor hardly took a beat. Very successful. Whoa, I, I didn't even pop one of the golden apples. I didn't even eat a golden apple. That was very good. Neither did I. You what, mate? that I've not got anymore is swiftness, so I could easily take on the second one if I want to sometime on my own if I save them potions. But if someone else wants to do it, that's fine. I know the coordinates for quite a few around the world, so by in the future I'll probably go around raiding them all. Right. Can I keep these three sponges here for now? Yeah. Commemorate me um, <laughs> kill, killing the Elder Guardian, I guess. Or landing the winning shots on them. What I'm going to do is, these sponges I have, I'm going to put them in the chest along with the sand for the farm. Just so um, we know, just so we all know where they are. Yep, that's fine. And we'll put um, some of the drops in there as well. So that was, that was good fun, really. Yeah. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed that, that clip we had there. That clip itself is 15 minutes long. So... I recorded for 50 minutes, so in total we'll only use 50 minutes of it, so I cut out at least 35 minutes of footage. Yeah, it was, it was good fun though, but what you'll be wondering, how much iron did I get from the mining challenge? That much, about two and a half stacks, I've used some of it. But anyway, the episode's getting kind of long for my liking, so we're going to need to end it there. Next episode we're either going to be working on the base some more or we may go over to the garden or the ocean temple and do some work. I think we're going to do that anyways. As usual if you like this episode make sure to hit that like button. 
and if you enjoyed it and you want to see more make sure to subscribe thank you for watching and as always i'll see you guys next time